Good morning, everybody. John Fort here of CNBC. Uh, just doing another morning stream and to bring you up to date on a couple things going on. Um, first of all, good to see you. Um, thanks for joining in so early in the morning. As you know, I've been streaming quite a bit um, this week. Plan to try to continue doing that uh, as often as time permits. But there are a couple things to talk about I want to bring to your attention. Uh, first of all, yes, yes, uh, Apple event. Uh, the, the, the announcement finally went out yesterday, September 12th. That is a Tuesday. Apple's going to be hosting what we expect to be the iPhone event. What's significant about this from a historical perspective, it is the first time that Apple is holding an event on its new campus. And um, it's being held in the Steve Jobs Theater, which, you know, named after Apple co-founder, former CEO and chairman Steve Jobs, who was, of course, the master of product introductions. Um, the, the new campus is also in Cupertino. It's about a mile away from One Infinite Loop, which is the campus that those of us who covered Apple for a long time uh, came to know quite well. It's what's known as a spaceship campus. You've seen the pictures. It's shaped like this, like a donut. Glass all around the outside. But also on this campus, uh, which, which Apple was building, designing from scratch, Steve Jobs uh, took the lead in designing this campus. They built an area to do product introductions. In the past, they've done them either up in San Francisco, say Moscone Center, Moscone West, uh, or, or North or South, just depending on uh, the era uh, of, of Mac World or, or these special events, or they've done it at the California Theater in San Jose, they've done them other places in Cupertino, but now Apple's the most valuable company in the world, worth, gosh, upwards of $850 billion, last time I checked. They can afford to build their own event space so people are gonna get their first look at that um, in about 10 days. Well, 11 days. It's September 1st, happy September, everyone. So looking forward to that. Of course, we'll be covering that on CNBC. I personally will actually not be there because uh, CNBC has its Delivering Alpha event that day. That, that's a big day where we talk to investors, people who are looking to make big money, big bets, some of the best investors in the world join us for Delivering Alpha. I will be there leading a panel, um, which is gonna include a couple of interesting people, which brings me to my next point, Jim Breyer and Tom Siebel. Now, those of you who follow the Fort Knox podcast might remember the episode with Tom Siebel. I think it was episode 30 or 31, something like that. If you haven't seen it, I encourage you to, uh, to check it out. Tom Siebel is the co-founder of Siebel Systems, sold it to Oracle um, for quite a pretty penny. That's why he's a billionaire now. He has started a new company called C3 IoT. He tells me the story in this podcast of being out in Tanzania with his family. Uh, one day they just decided, Let, let's see some animals. Let's go out and do a walking safari. And what happened then? Um, well, you just have to listen to it. Please do. I recently posted video on the YouTube channel, on Facebook. Um, you know, for those of you who are on Twitter, I'll send out a link after this to, to both of those areas. I posted a seven minute video, which is an excerpt from the podcast. You can actually see Tom telling the story of what happened when this elephant, I mean, it almost killed him. And, and I mean, not just it almost killed him. Boy, that was close. I mean, the guy was this close to death and took years to recover. Doctors didn't think he would. So definitely check out the video. Just posted it last night uh, on the Fort Knox YouTube channel, also on my page, John Fort on Facebook, where some of you are seeing this right now. Uh, please check that out. And uh, guys, once again, just a reminder, all you gadget lovers, you got that to look forward to coming up on September 12th. Always good to have an Apple introduction. We expect to see new iPhones. We expect to see new Apple Watch. Maybe Apple's even gonna catch up with demand on AirPods. Who knows? That would be amazing. Um, and really, it, it couldn't come any sooner because we've got the uh, iPhone 7, which has already been out. We expect a new iPhone. That's gonna be two generations 
with no headphone jack. We need Bluetooth, Bluetooth earbuds. Um, as I often complain, my ears are shaped funny, right? Right in here, I don't have that little piece sticking up, right? That holds earbuds in place. They actually just fall right out. Not Apple's fault, I'm a mutant. But uh, they don't work for me, but I'm actually shopping for new Bluetooth earbuds. I just bought some off of uh, off of Amazon a couple days ago. They're supposed to come. They were supposed to be here yesterday, but they should be here now. Delayed, they tell me, either today or tomorrow. I'll be letting you know how those turn out. I used Wire Cutter, um, which is a great service. You guys should check out. New York Times recently bought them, but they do product reviews and they make their money by you know you you, you click off of them to buy the product. Then on Amazon, if they recommend, they make a cut of that. Great model, I think. Uh, kind of consumer report seek. They don't rely on advertising. Anyway, have a great Friday. Hope you had a great week. Happy September, everyone. And I will see you next time.